Welcome to another episode of the Task Man series. In this episode, I've decided I'm going to make the final push to escape the beginner tier. I mentioned it before, but in case you forgot or are new or are stupid, the Task Man mode is broken down into several tiers and we're a little more than halfway through the beginner tier. But I'm ready for shit to start getting serious. So this episode will not end until we complete the entire beginner tier of tasks. Also, I just want to say thank you for the support on this series. It's been very surreal that people actually watch this stuff. I apologize that I'm not very good at responding to comments. I'm extremely socially awkward, but I still appreciate it. I'm just not good at showing it. I hope you like this video. I'm out of words to say. Obtain a Hellcat. Partial completion of Evil Dave's part of Recipe for Disaster is required. To do Evil Dave's part of Recipe for Disaster, we need to complete a few quests. Cook's Assistant, of course. The Prologue to Recipe for Disaster. Another Cook's Quest. The Demon Slayer Quest. And then Shadow of the Storm. Your cat suddenly transforms. There, there's the Hellcat. I can't wait to lock it in my basement and never interact in with it. Not basement. That's No, that's much worse than I wanted it to sound lock it in my bank and never interact with it again. I guess that's not much better. Recipe for, <laughs> Recipe for disaster freeing evil dive is done. And we got the Hellcat in the process, pushing us up to 41 cooking and completing the task. Purchased the jungle camouflage outfit. Ew. I purchased the jungle camo stuff. We did it. That, I did it. Register a total of one unique item in the Fremnik pro Sorry, I just saw that picture. In the Fremnik province section of your Slayer collection log. Just finished my first ever Slayer task. Please stop killing me. Your new task is to kill 39 green dragons. There we go, that's 20 Slayer. Now to grind out the whole bunch of rock slugs. Ooh, I get to manually use the salt on every rock slug. That's going to make this much more enjoyable. Why do the rock slugs drop bags of salt? That's like if I carried around healthy food. And hey, there we go, light misted gloves. 200 something or so kills. I got a few bag of salt drops and I started the 500. So not too bad. Unlock the fairy light necklace and whip cosmetic overrides. These are unlocked by completing Violet is Blue 2, which means we also need to do Violet is Blue. I didn't even realize that uh, by hitting 50 HP, I can use Tuska's Wrath. I had no idea there was a requirement. I thought you just had to buy it. Holy shit, it's Isis. Oh, it's a pun because they're ice. Oh, that's funny. Just finished Violet is Blue, we get lamps, which usually your boy would put on Burblore. But as you might be fully aware of, prayer is a constant sore spot in my existence. So we're gonna dump all of these into prayer because your boy needs overhead prayers. Puts us at 34 and now we can do Violet is Blue too. Shit drawing. Do better. I feel bad even joking about it. <laughs> Cause this is really, really cute. Violet is blue too, complete. That's more XP to put on prayer. Cause uh, again, your boy needs overheads. All oh, these are even more XP, let's go. Surely that's enough for finally a overhead prayer, protect from magic. We don't talk about protect from summoning. We don't respect protect from summoning in this home. Oh, that also put us uh, over one level one level what? <laughs> oh my God. That all put us over 1000 total miles. The, holy shit. Register a total of one unique item in the Kandoran section of your Slayer collection log. The picture is demonic. There's the tortoise shells. I did like 10 kills. It was pretty fast. But I did get 35 cabbage seeds in those like 10 kills, so no complaints. That's pretty sick. Super duper secret task number 13. Complete five tasks for the wise old man. A wise old man tasks, tasks, can only be offered before you become eligible to receive a quest cape. The tasks assigned fall into three categories. Items, so fetching him items. Delivering letters to NPCs. 
investigate things under his bed. The player must then defeat it in combat. Turtles are kind of sick. I got arrows, I got cabbage seeds, I got, I don't know if the cabbage is useful. Worm batters are kind of good food at this stage of the game. Tortoises, secret OP. I made billions with this one weird trick. You want 14 wheat. That's fucking weird. Oh, I get rewards? Jangerberry seed? I need a few lumps of tin ore on it. Here's your tin. Oh, I got some prior XP. He just siphons it into me, I guess. That's horrifying. I think there's some kind of monster in my house. Could you go upstairs and get rid of it, please? Okay, yeah, I can do that. Kick the bed. Hello? Oh. Oh, it's just... What? Who? Oh my god, it's died? Four pieces of ruin essence. Uh, it's extremely easy, I have that banked. A few lumps of iron ore would be nice. 12 lumps of iron ore. Here's your iron ore, my liege. Oh, more prayer XP. He knows what a, he knows what a man like me needs. Register a total of nine unique items in the Asgarnia and Mistelin section of your Slayer collection log. Uh, I got the bottom of the scepter. And it's a song now. Thanks for listening to my song. I also got an ass of herbs, an entire ass of them. Obtain your first wage from Fred. The sheep can be, uh, nope, that's not what that says. This can be achieved by completing the sheep shearer mini quest. Fred, my man, who's got two black balls and just got you 20 black balls. It's me, I did it. You've completed sheep shearer mini quest. I got a 150 crafting XP in 2K. Super duper secret task number 23. Have Aram the Blighted fill a bucket for you? <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> oh. Aram pops up and fills your bucket with water. <laughs> well, th thank you. Turn a unique from the Anima Islands. Decided I'd go big this time and uh, get the most expensive things out of the way first. So I'm gonna grab, um, like there's part of me that just wants these abilities because they're useful, but they're not that useful now and I'll get them later. So I'm gonna say no and just get the torso. I don't know how useful it is. On damaging attacks, 1% chance to deal crit damage to the target. Like, eh, eh. Obtain a unique from the pit. Nimble outfit piece can nimble outfit pe nimble outfit nimble outfit nimble outfit piece <laughs> nimble oh. nimble outfit piece can be obtained at a rate of one uh one and three from the pit regardless of whether you win or lose. Damn, I'm kind of caked up. He's done it. One and done. And I believe we just have a chance to get an outfit piece. We take these, we gamble those, we win these. We have, to, oh, we lost. Since we completed the pit for the first time, we get to uh, claim this, we get to claim a, uh, yeah. Which counts, that is a, uh, that is a unique that we can obtain from the pit. Complete the first Boric task. You must speak with Boric located in the basement of the house to receive his work order to mine 30 coal at the coal trucks west of Sears Village. Pretty simple to the point task, I just tell, Stankers that I'm done. No, I would not like a poison chalice. Nope, this is the wrong dwarf. That's I'm being racist. Well, how am I supposed to talk to this guy when they're bats eating me? Ugh. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I was already low on health because of the agility. Okay, wait, no, I got a window. Talk to him. Why am I not moving? I can't talk to him while he's mining? Yes. Shut up. Okay, we're done. Give me that. No, shut up. Don't talk to me. Obtain and attach a red topaz machete to your tool belt. The machete is rough. <laughs> you booty. Red topaz machete purchased. And wait, do we add it to tool belt? Obtain and attach a red machete to your tool belt. Add to tool belt. Now we can chop with fervor, with intention and purpose. Purchase the desert camouflage outfit. My good man, give me some desert camo. Now I believe we have all the sets. Enter a new resource dungeon. 21k dungeoneering XP. Don't walk at me. Leave, stop, did I say 21k? 2100 dungeoneering XP. Pick a fruit from a squirk tree 
In the Sorcerer's Guardian, no, that was all wrong. In the Sorcerer's Garden, without stopping to avoid the elements. So he's got to get through in one click. Shouldn't be too bad. Uh, I'm feeling right about now. That's it. That's it. He's making it. No, I'm dead. I died. I'm dead. And I'm dying. And I'm dead. Oh, that's it. I'm feeling good about that one. Oh, it's easy. Oh, that was considerably easier than it sounded like it would be. <laughs> Obtain the Mazcab Cudgel Override. What a complete call of the ancestors. Oh man, this quest is weird. Liberation of Mazcab reroll tokens. This may be sick. There's a magic looks to me. Uh, I think just finishing the quest unlocks the override, so I think we're good. But let me confirm. Yeah, we got some some cudgels. I love a good cudging. Surge straight into a wall. I think I actually have already done this by accident, but uh, just in case. Well, that wasn't right. Yeah, I already had that achievement. Just wanted to make sure. Find and read Zamorak's dark reading material scattered across the infernal source. We already have the archeology span level. If I remember correctly, I don't have enough materials to fix this. Oh, never mind, I'll be back. If I remember correctly, uh, we just need these three crests of Dagon. And now we can go in to where the last few books we need are. And we just put them in. It's been a while since I've done this one. Whoa, wow. He -he. I gotta do this quick, my cereal's getting soggy. That's not a euphemism, I'm eating cereal. And the last three books I need, dark reading material. I think these just give a little bit of, yeah, archeology span XP. 35 archeology span and task complete. Complete the third Doric task. You must speak with Doric to receive his work order to smith a mithril longsword plus one and a mithril warhammer plus one. Dork task number three, done. We have some smithing XP. My amulet that is somewhere. I don't know where it is. I guess it's maybe in my bank. I don't know. Maybe I destroyed it. It's somewhere. I'm definitely gonna put all the bonus XP from the lamp on to smithing because it's a little slow. It's a little slow. It's a little slow. It's a little slow. Obtaining unique from the Anima Islands. Back we go. Uh, Tusk the legs, tier one. Give them, give them, give them, give them. I'll be back. Register a total of two unique items in the Fremnic Province section of your Slayer collection log. I don't know if I just got nuts lucky, but I just got 11 adrenaline crystals. <laughs> Killing green dragons. That seems absurd. I mean, either way, it is a new collection log item. Not for the collection log we're currently going for, mind. Oh, there's a wilderness drop table. Okay, well, I didn't know this. Apparently things in the wilderness have like an extra drop table. I spent so little time in the wilderness in my day that I just didn't even know that was a thing. All right, now this is completely foreign to me. I just got a Fremnic equipment patch. What is it? Can we use the upgrade Fremnic equipment? Yeah, I'm sure that's extremely useful. Second ever Slayer assignment on this account. Probably goes without saying. Done. Uh, we're two levels off of 25 Slayer. We got a whole slew of skills. We also got a bunch of levels doing Anima Islands. You probably may maybe have noticed all the flashing icons. 82 werewolves. All right, time to extinctify the denizens of this sweet town. Got 25 Slayer, now we can go kill the cockatrices for the boots we need, right? Is that what's happening? Well, that was fairly quick. We got the Light Mystic boots, like 50 kills in, I want to say. So I guess pretty lucky, kind of spooned, if you will. We also got a Medium Clue Scroll, which is always sick. We got a Cockatrice Egg, which might be sick. I got 14 Nature Ruins, which is definitely sick. And then the clip is over, which is probably good. Return the Holy Grail. Complete the Holy Grail quest and attack level 30 and the completion of the quest Merlin's Crystal is required. Merlin's thick, veiny, girthy crystal complete. Six quest points, pretty sick with it. Sir Arthur, I have brought you the, the Goldie Hail. Oh, we get some dirty, nasty, filthy prayer and defense XP. We're level 70 combat, 42 prayer. We got protect from missiles. We can wear all sorts of armor now. 
Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Register a total of 10 unique items in the Asgardian Miscellaneous section of your Slayer collection log. I got the top of the scepter. Um, that's all, there's nothing of note. Unlock the Ring of Luck Relic Power. I guess I'll equip this relic. Oh, I almost destroyed it, haha, <laughs> don't do that. As long as it's not too expensive, I may as well just have luck permeating me wherever I go. Unlock the Yeoman Hat. I kill 70 chompy birds. That should be my 70th chompus. I'm a yow, I'm a yow man, man. You know what I mean, man? Brant's my man, give me that sick, sick hat. I am officially a Yaoman. Feel free to envy me openly. Complete the easy New Varrock Achievement Diary. We have completed Dimension of Disaster Coin of the Realm. Actually, it turns out that for one of these tasks, I need to start the Shield of Arav Dimension of Disaster quest, which means that I need to finish the dimension, the the non-dimension of disaster version of the Shield of Arav. My man King rolled oats. I got you a motherfucking shield. Shield of Arav complete. Since you've been gone, I cannot breathe for the ninth time. Orlando Smith, my boy. I got you the Shield of Arav. 100 thieving XP. That's... That's excellent. Okay, you know what? It got me a level, so my sarcasm was unwarranted. In fact, even if I didn't get a level, it was unwarranted. I mean, it's free XP. Who am I to get snippy? I upgrade your Varrock armor, clothing optional. You have not unlocked an upgrade for the Varrock armor. You no longer need to wear it to get its... Oh, you don't have to wear it to get its benefits. Create 50 teleportation spheres. Completion of the death of the Dorgashun is required, which we've done. And we just got to bring him some molten glass, which can be brought noted. How about that? How convenient. <laughs> Sergeant Handon, the Guardians of Guthis Engram at the Memorial to Guthix. Charge the Engram. Here, take the Engram. Dye the hair of your cat slash kitten purple. There's the mini quest done. Do I just use the cat on you? Make my cat purple? I can make cats purple, but I don't know how to change the bag. It's permanent. Okay, yeah, sure. Make it purple, dude. Okay, so it makes it not a Hellcat, which is fine, as long as it is an adult. Surge under the dinosaur spine suspended between cliffs on Anachronia. Anyone else have the creeping feeling that I'm about to read a terrible pun? Because I sure do feel like I'm about to read a terrible pun. I did it wrong. Spinal Surgery, Jesus Christ. Complete the Clock Tower quest. There are no requirements for this quest. This quest can be started by talking to Brother Kojo. Hucky. I figure since uh, we hit level 50 defense recently, it's probably time for a, oh, that was a voice crack. It's good, it's time for, it's time for an upgrade. Assuming I can afford it. Let's go ruin four hounds and plate legs. Boots, gloves, yeah. Let's go boots, let's go gloves. And now we're looking like a big, beautiful blue bitch. You know, while we're here and we got the funds, let's invest in some weaponry. Uh, I'm always particular to a scimitar. We'll probably get new Magic Gears drops because a lot of the tasks to get collection log slots require me to get Light Mystic. So I think I'll just get weapons. Oh, we're dripped out, we're ascending, we're leveling, and it feels good. I did it, I saved the world. This quest will have long, far-reaching effects in the story of this world. Unlock the double loot chance upgrade from Dundee's Crocodile Upgrades. That is 501, uh, Scarab's Cot. Now your boy's got double loot chance, which I guess just means I can get more Whirly Gig shells, which I don't even know what those do yet. Golden Crocodile Cosmetic Upgrade? That sounds sick as hell. Register a total of three unique items in the Fremnic Province section of your Slayer collection log. Back to Cockatrice as we go to get a Cockatrice head. I got another pair of Light Mystic Boots. Do they alk for anything? High alk is 3k. Well, that's disappointing. Just hit 50 attack. Big level, we can equip our ruin stuff. 254 nature ruins, 10 medium clues, an ass of seeds. At least we're getting some useful stuff out of this grind. I do want to be done, but you know, it, I'm, no complaints, it's 
going pretty all right. You guys ever do a grind for so long, you start to wonder if you're doing something like incorrectly, like you constantly reference the wiki. I'm a naturally very paranoid person, so this could be just, uh, I could just be outing myself heavy, but like, I'm like constantly checking the wiki and I'm like reading things over and I'm like, am I, you know, is there like a certain thing I'm not doing correctly here? What am I doing wrong? I've probably referenced the wiki four, four times for cockatrices now. Turns out uh, nothing's changed. I'm just, it's just, just hasn't dropped yet. That's just the way she goes. He's finally done it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> the cockatrice head, Oh. I went through so many waves, man. I was like, is this thing real? Is it bugged? Does it exist? Check the wiki like 85 times. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> well, that took a while. Uh, we ended up with 16 medium clue scrolls, a bunch of seeds, even more stuff in my bank, a bunch of herbs, ruins, some charms, a lot of limp words. a lot of limp words. Obtain the Asylum Doctor's Ring. Completion of the quest Broken Home is required. She's fine. He's fine. Broken Home done. She'll just uh, keep crying, I guess. Is this enough to put us to 43? No, that was like nothing. Okay. <laughs> Complete the Perils of Ice Mountain. Perils of Ice Mountain done. We get the fabled 500 farming, hunter, thieving, and construction XP lamp. Locate and read the explorer's notes. The book can be found in the Caldegrim libraries. You find a book of notes by the famous dwarven explorer, Nestor Peregrine, detailing his exploration of the mountains beyond Trollheim. It fucking sucked, don't go there. Complete the easy Mauritania achievement diary. I heard if you pick this guy's pocket, you finish the quest instantly. Oh, wow. It's true, it's really true. Oh, that was a task. I was just doing it to do it. Get some defense XP, get a little bit of constitution and a little bit of crafting. Oh, we hit 125 quest points, so we get another reward from May. We get two, oh shit, I got two dice? One of them's tier two. Let's roll the tier one at first. 250k and some slick studded chaps and our first tier two dice. I assume it's 500k. Yes. And ancient robe legs. These ancient robe legs really accentuate my body's natural, very normal looking bend. Yo, when I get to 150 quest points, I get a free child. Yo, where's a bad bitch supposed to make their planks now? I don't know, how do you make planks now? Oh, I see, I missed it because I saw this half of the table, but the both halves of the table do different things. So you just make them yourself. Okay, I see. It's really surreal that something that's been here for so long, like something very well established is just gone. Not that I have any problems with the replacement. I think it looks pretty cool. And that's before I've even really engaged with it at all. <laughs> I tried to repair the one I was standing on and they hit me with the, this bridge rung already looks fixed. That's why you're able to stand on it. You know what, Jagex? To, uh, in my defense, they all look the fucking same. So don't come at me with your attitude. D -d -d so do not. I really like this quest line. I, I forgot how much I liked it until I, until I started doing this quest and the nostalgia kind of washed over me. It's cool. In search of my Yurk done, now we can do in aid of my Yurk. Get a little bit of XP. I don't think it's gonna be enough to push us through any levels, but free XP is free XP. Oh, we did hit 35 crafting. Now we can make Brudu Shield. Oh, my cow fight tried to attack that guy because he hit me. Get him, King, kick his ass. I summoned a cow fight to carry some items, but like, are you allowed to do that? Because it gives you XP. And my task is in force summoning, but it's helping my task. You know? Yo, my Calfi wants to square up. He's pissed. In aid of my Yurk done. I really like the concept of fixing up an old town. I don't know why, it's always been very appealing to me. I just find it satisfying. 
I mean, obviously this place still looks like garbage. You know, we fixed up the store a little bit during the quest. We made ourselves a little base and we fixed the bank. I don't know what it is. It feels really nice. Like I get a genuine sense of satisfaction from it. Final task is to harvest some limpworts. Probably should have planted these before I started to do everything, but I have been described as, and I quote, too stupid to plan anything. That was my father who said that. So I'm going to water this limpwort and I'm gonna go to bed. And in the morning, I'm gonna wake up to a beautiful limpwort plant. He has arisen much like my limpwort plant. More legs one and a lamp that we're gonna put into prayer, pushing us to 43 and finally, giving us all the notable, for now, protection pl players, protection prayers, protection prayers. Register a total of four unique items in the Fremnic Province section of your Slayer collection log. I should probably at some point go over all the unlocks I have, but I am currently cooking because I am allowed to cook up to 50 fish if I run out of food. Just hit 42 fire, no. Cooking, it's cooking. <laughs> Just something I figure is worth noting because I mean, you know, in a series where usually, at least right now, the only time you'd see me level up is when I'm on a task which you're already privy to. It might be a little weird when all of a sudden I'm getting levels for things between clips that aren't my task. So uh, although it's unlikely because I'll be cooking small amounts of fish at a time, if I ever do get a cooking level between clips, that's probably very likely what happened. There we go, there's the flattened hide. That took surprisingly long. It's a one in 65. I, I really didn't think it would take as long as I did. Also, you like the drip? Your boy is flossy? I guess we're going back. I got a berserker helm? I, I guess that's fine. I mean, it's not better than Ruin, I think. But Ruin doesn't have a strength bonus, but still probably not. Also, this is on the wiki as very rare, so I'm mostly just confused on what's going on with my RNG lately. So it turns out that not all Dagonoths drop the same items. Oh no. So this is the page for Dagonoths that are ranged. They drop the flattened stretch circular hides, the spine gloves and spine boots, items we need for the collection log. I've made the mistake of killing the Dagonoths that melee, which drop pretty much the same assortment of items, give or take except the ones we need for the collection log. So I basically just killed a whole bunch of Dagonoffs for no reason. That would explain why it felt like it was taking so long to get the drop. And I guess the only reason I got the first drop was because I accidentally killed a ranger. Uh, to make this as right as possible, I'm just gonna drop the charms I got. Zerker Helm, goodbye my old friend. Unfortunately, as much as I wanted to alk you, I, uh, I can't take back the XP I earned. <laughs> There's nothing that I can do about that. I also don't know how many herbs I got. There are a few things that I'm not gonna be able to accurately separate, but I, I did most of my due diligence. Now, let's go kill the right Dagonoths. You know, it's kind of fucked up, I'm realizing. Uh, let's see. Melee, 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 melee. Melee, 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 melee. Mealy, mealy, mealy. Oh, ranged. There's like one guy in here. This is some kind of sick joke, Jagex. Is this how you get your kicks? And you're probably thinking, Jake, just go deeper into the, the, the thing. I don't have a pet rock and I don't have fucking friends. Are you insane? Wait, did they remove that? Oh, you can just go in now. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Oh, you got me there. Oh, thank God, I got a circular hide. All right, get me out of here. Claim a free clue scroll from Zyda. Hey, a little medium clue scroll added to my pile that I got from copious amounts of, what are they called? Cockatrices? Also, I got a clue scroll from the Dagonauts. I'm destroying that too. My ethics unquestionable. My morals, uh, 
So I guess I'll just destroy the one I got. It's the same. Unflappable in the face of adversity. What adversity, I hear you ask? Mind your own fucking business. Obtain an Impa Repellent. The Repellent can be obtained from Elnock Inquisitor and Puro Puro by trading him three baby, two young, and one gourmet Impaling. What? So I trade you these for Imp Repellent? This is correct? Imp Repellent. He's done it. Enter a new resource dungeon. This should nab us a dungeoneering level, throwing us up to 41. I lied, it's still 41. I'm so sorry. I'm just, look, okay, look. I've gone, it's been a rough day. I didn't mean to deceive you. I understand if you're upset with me. I understand if you can't forgive me, okay? I won't. I'm not gonna tell you a feel about that. I lied. That's, I'm in the wrong here. I'm really sorry. And if you can forgive me, I... I... <laughs> My next task is to get all three penguin variants. Each penguin takes about an hour, give or take, to incubate, which means I had a lot of spare time on my hands because you had to be logged in for the time to move forward. First, I had to get 30 summoning so I could actually claim the penguins from the penguin guy in the Ardone Zoo. Then while the first one is incubating, I decided to clean up my bank a little bit I went through my bank and just did a general cleanup and organized some things. I then remembered that in an earlier episode when we did our first three tasks for Trinks, that we unlocked the ability to do Trinks tasks daily until we had Max Gobi reputation. So I went ahead and did that and I will be doing that in the background as the series moves forward updating you guys at notable milestones. I decided it would be in my best interest to fish and cook some food. With my current completed tasks, I can only fish up to 50 things. Uh, I sat with the sad guy and we, we cried it out together. At this point, I was up to claiming my second egg and I started incubating the third, but I was out of things to do. So I, uh, I just sat down and I waited and I kept waiting. All right, the final egg is finally done. That's the blue penguin. And after a little bit of waiting, the task is complete. Register as well as any items on your Oh, that was fast. Three kills, I got some spined boots. Are they good? Ah. Slay the vampire beneath Draenor Manor. Wow, you got a lot of XP for such a quick and easy quest. I mean, not bad. It doesn't work on prayer. Uh, I guess range, it's the most behind as well. Puts us up to 43 range. Obtain a unique from the gnome restaurant delivery service. <coughs> <coughs> delivery service. Sir, your blueberry special. You're giving some seed pods as a tip. We're getting very lucky with these. We got them the last two done in one try. Claim the archeology span experience from the books in the dungeon of disorder. I think we already did this. Find a unique gem or insect for your Metaphos journal while thieving. Found while pickpocketing or thieving stalls in Metaphos. Make sure to talk to assistant librarian Sabutai to receive the Metaphos journal upon completion of the Jack of Spades quest. I'm a little concerned that there is so much stuff in this book and Metaphos has been around for a while now and I had no clue this existed. I guess these are hints about where they could be hidden, but the task specifically wants me to do thieving. So I guess I'm not gonna have to do much figuring out for this. And the task man thing is just gonna kind of point me in the right direction. And I'll eventually fill this book out. Not currently stuck to the faction, so no reputation. Oh, right. I'm gonna go for the ports district because when I eventually start fishing here primarily, having that bank deposit box is gonna be pretty helpful. I walked around thinking, I wonder if this is the right place to steal from. 
And I was like looking at wikis and reading my book and then I came back and I was like, eh, it's probably fine. And then, uh, well, I got it instantly. So how about that? You discovered a new insect, a fly dragon in amber. Obtain Remora's necklace. Completion of the quest Song from the Depths is required. Song from the Depths done. Uh, is it this crossbow any good? Level one. Okay, so no. 75 combat. And the Queen Black Dragon is slightly easier. I don't know how much easier, but it makes it a, we take a little less damage or something like that because we completed this quest. Oh, but only if you have 60 summoning, apparently. That's weird. Register a total of three unique items in the Mauritania section of your Slayer collection log. Couldn't be me bringing a face mask to fight Banshees thinking that's the item I needed. Couldn't be me. You'd never figure I have a maxed RuneScape account. By the way, I play this goddamn game sometimes. <laughs> hey, yo, we got some dark mystic glows. There was a part of me just, just hoping in the back of my mind that maybe I could get a Banshee champion scroll. And no such luck. Obtaining a uniquely colored villager outfit. I'm feeling a little brown today. Not like, not like that. Like, you know, just like the color. That's not better. Have the curator investigate a cult devoted to the elder god. Speak to the curator located south of Berthorpe Castle about the cultist's journey. Yo, what is this dumbass doing? I hate him. You've completed a cultist's journey. It wasn't really a quest. I wouldn't even call it a mini quest. It was more of a, a scavenger hunt. It also has no rewards. You just had to find a stupid, stupid man. Attempt to crush a gargoyle in the infernal source. The source can be accessed upon completion of the Embrace the Chaos Mystery. Dude, I love this skill. I love that they incorporated some puzzle elements into the whole, into a skill. I think that's cool. Oh shit. I just got my last steam achievement. <laughs> Your boy's got all the steam achievements now. Let's go. He's dabbing. You can't see it. He's doing it though. That's uh, that's pretty irrelevant to the series, but I'm still happy about that as a an achievement hunter. I do not appreciate that. Didn't ask. Complete the easy Falador achievement diary. You tried to take my childhood from me. When I was blissfully ignorant, you tried to sink your claws into my happiness and tear out its still beating heart. When I wanted to explore and act on my sense of adventure, you were in my path, waiting to strike me down. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. I had a little frog in my throat. I just had to kill this highwayman. I, sorry about that. That was a. Uh... I don't know what came over me. Damn, look at him go. He's going crazy. You want some cheese, little fella? You're working pretty hard. Ridge, Ridgely. I like that name. I can get down with Ridgely. That's a good name. Let's see, where's the lamp going this time? 1K XP, is there anything that's like really holding me back right now? I'm gonna go with construction because as you might be aware, it is the worst skill. Got this dope little shield. Have a challenging chat with Virago. Don't worry, we're not gonna make you fight him yet. Use a non-instance encounter to avoid having to pay one mil. If the relevant chat options aren't available, someone else is already fighting the boss. Dude, he is very scary. Challenging Virago will initiate an attack. After 20 seconds, he will unleash 50k damage across yourself and those who choose to accept and go with you into the borehole. Well, I don't want to die, so thank you for the offer, but I'm going to go. Our final task, and we are done, the beginner tier. Register a total of eight unique items in the Fremnik province section of your Slayer collection log. Oh, there it is, the spined gloves. With these spined gloves, we are officially done, the beginner tier. The final task of the beginner tier is complete. You gotta be dick sucking me, they added new tasks. There are 11 more tasks I gotta do now. <laughs> I was done, man! This video took forever! Loot the three herbs from the smash table in Morton. <gasps> I already did this. Loot all three goblin males around the goblin village. I already did this when I did um, goblin diplomacy. I use these. Super duper secret task number 10. Ozan is being arrested in Varrock Center. Quick, distract the guards so we can escape from the crimes he maybe probably didn't commit this time.
Oh, there he is. Okay. <laughs> I, was, I was like, where'd he go? I never did this. I don't know. Are, are you supposed to find Ozan and Deering? I mean, he, he literally gets caught by this guard escaping the palace stealing shit. I don't find that endearing. I'm like, man, that guy's kind of an asshole. Loot the three garlic from beneath the chest. That's not what that says. Loot the three garlic from the chest beneath Berg de Rod. After cleaning the basement of the Mayurk hideout in Berg de Rod, a chest can be looted for three garlic. That's the task. Partial completion of the quest and aid of Mayurk is required. I was informed there's free garlic in this bitch. Yeah, boy. Yes, queen. Garlic acquired. Unlock Captain Dalson's journal. After the death of chivalry, Captain Dalson's journal can be permanently unlocked with Don's key. You slide the key you found on Don's body into the journal's keyhole. It fits perfectly and the clasp snaps open. Oh my goodness, my man had some shit to say. Lord Shadwell would not have sullied his kindred forces with weak wizards and bearers of children. What a piece of shit, oh my god. What, what the fuck? <laughs> Release all the trapped poisonous spiders from the chest in the passage under the observatory. But like, I don't wanna? This is the last chest. I have now unleashed an unholy dirge of poisonous spiders. Oh, anti-poison. Thank you. Do some cleaning up after the death of chivalry. This task requires you to loot the five dead black knights in the Saradoma's artifact chamber and for some pocket change, loot the supply crate and dead knights by the black knights tent near the portal for some ruins and more pocket change and deal with Lieutenant Graves' body after the death of chivalry. Hidden under the bed, you find an assortment of bleached human bones. Okay, well, that's not what I was looking for. So I'm a little confused. I've been looking for a, a, a few minutes now. Part of the task says, uh, deal with Lieutenant Graves' body after the death of chivalry. And he's supposed to be around here, but he's not. So I don't know if that means I'm, I guess I did it and didn't even like realize while I was doing the quest or I'm missing something. If I'm missing something, please inform. Um, I mean, it's not that big of a deal either way. I think it's literally just 250 coins. It's more about getting the task done. Anywho, uh, I might have already searched these guys. Nothing of value. You've already recovered all the items of value from this crate. Ooh, 100 coins. Ooh, 200 coins. Ooh, 450 coins. Ooh, 280 coins. Okay, I think that's everything. Prove yourself task man worthy. Talk to Nastroth and toggle the option. I want to prove I've never used an XP block slash reset. This will show the outside world our accounts are pristine and ready for a challenge by adding additional information to the combat level icon tooltips on the skills panel. I want to prove I've never used an XP block slash reset. If you choose to enable proof and the player examines your skills, the tooltips for your combat level will display the following information. This player has never blocked XP, blocked reward XP, or reset a specific skill. Would you like to enable proof? Yeah. Learn how to blow glass from the glass blowing master. Players can speak to Fritz the glass blower on Entrana for a lesson in glass blowing and receive a free bucket and glass blowing pipe. Fritz, my man, teach me how to blow. Exhaust Dororan's free supply of swanky boots. Dororan will give the player 12 pairs of swanky boots for free. There's Gunner's Ground done. We get a little bit of crafting XP. I also got these nice shoes, but unfortunately I don't want them. Actually, you know what? They're growing on me. Great, another pair of boots. Actually, they're not my style. All right, I have exhausted his supply of swanky boots. I like the visual of just him giving me the boots and then I just light them on fire or just, I don't know, crush them with my Herculean strength in my palms. And then I'm like, ah, I lost them. Can I get another pair? And he just, he's like, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll, that's fine. Our final task again in the beginner tier, loot the leather from a crate in the elemental workshop. The crate is one of the boxes in the northwest section of the central chamber. You can only ever get a single piece of soft leather from this crate. Yummy, yummy, daddy wants his free leather. Sorry, I said that. It wasn't even in here. I said that for nothing. Yummy, yummy, daddy wants his free leather. That's not it either. Yummy, yummy, daddy wants his free. Oh, where the fuck is it, dude? I got it. Oh, there's a lot of XP actually. For such a simple quest, not bad. Uh, puts us at 38 crafting and 35 smithing. And finally, again, we are done. Wait, let me pull up the, where'd the website go? I closed it. And with this, we are done. <clears throat> All the beginner 
tasks. Holy shit, there's no way they actually added tasks again. Nah, I'm just kidding, the video's over this time. 